scleral contact lenses are very large, rigid lenses. And the beauty about these lenses is they're sitting on the white of the eye, so the insensitive part of the eye, and they vault up over the coloured parts. So the little rigid lenses sit on, on this cornea, on this um, glad wrap layer, and it's very sensitive, and some patients just can't tolerate that, that type of lens. So we go to a, a bigger lens that lands on the white, and vaults up and then we have a really lovely big tear layer between the back of the contact lens, the scleral lens, and the front of the eye, this glad wrap layer. So comfort wise is absolutely amazing. I believe uh, Tom Cruise was in the movie um, not that long ago where they inserted these uh, scleral lenses so he could hang off the side of an aeroplane and have his eyes open and his eyes would not, uh, you know, not dry out. Um, a little extreme, but um, you know, you do what you have to do for the contract. You know, there's dry eye, there's keratoconus, there's um, uh, post grafts, so patients who've had keratoconus or um, trauma of some description, then they do need a, uh, a corneal graft, we can fit them with this type of lens. If we can get you successful with the little lens, it's less visits, um, it doesn't cost as much, it's a quicker turnaround. If we can get you there, still it'll have a life of two years, um, we can get a great outcome. Scleral lenses normally last, we give them a life of two years. That's for the sealed ones. The fenestrated ones are a different animal and they tend to last longer. As lenses get older, they do tend to warp and change shape. So they're no longer a nine and a half shoe, they're gonna lose that shape. Um, and the pores in the, in the material will block up. So instead of having a nice healthy breathing material, as they get older, they'll certainly breathe less. The front surface tends to get a bit scuffed up with some scratches, a little bit of a build up. Um, so we find we tend to lose comfort as well. So the lenses dry out the longer the, the, the older they are and the longer the patient wants to wear them. There's a, a micro environment between the, the back of the lens and the front of the eye. So it's really important that, you know, when we insert the lenses, that this um, environment is the solution we use in that is a preservative free solution because that environment or that solution is going to be hanging around anywhere from 8 hours to 10 hours to 16 hours. So different patients have different quality of tears and then we tailor make it to the different type of solutions that we might use in that, that buffer tea layer. The safest way to wear this modality of lens for the majority, and I say the majority, is to remove the lens at night. They do involve chair time and patients need to understand that it's not just pop it in and see you in six months, 12 months. It does take a bit of, um, a bit of tweaking to get that fit just right and then obviously you know, tweaking on the prescription. But they are terrific, but they're also not for everybody. Certainly you can call us um, or you can just email through our website um, a generic question that we can you know, certainly help that you know, you're in London, who do you recommend, that sort of thing. That's, uh, you know, just give me a little a day or two to find out the right person and uh, we can certainly help you. But yeah, we've got members across the world so that you know, certainly helps. We're all on the same page, we're all doing scleral lenses, keratoconus, post-surgical uh, patients, so it's a great place to just say, look, this is where I am, can I help? 